Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new to my channel, I am a plant-based Sarana and I've been following the Start Solution. With the Start Solution, I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. The Start Solution was a program developed by Dr. John McDougall and he wrote a book called The Start Solution. I'll leave a link to his book in the description box below. On my channel, you will find quick and easy whole food plant-based recipes. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram, and if you're new to this way of eating or just feel like you need a little bit more support, I started a Facebook group and I will leave that link in the description box below. Today I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day, and this is on a day that I feel kind of lazy, so these recipes are going to be really quick, really simple. Uh, usually I start off breakfast and lunch super easy because I just kind of get in a slow start to the day. But then maybe by dinner, I feel like getting a little bit more fancier. Maybe not fancy, but a little bit more complicated. No, not complicated. You'll just have to wait and see. So let's get started. So this morning, I'm just gonna make some toast with some hummus and veggies. Sometimes, believe it or not, I'm not in the mood for potatoes for breakfast. I'm not in the mood for oatmeal or pancakes. I just feel like having some toast. I don't eat a lot of bread because bread and me don't get along too well. If I eat a lot of bread, I definitely start gaining weight and feel bloated. So I just keep my bread to a minimum. And this is gluten-free bread. It's a whole grain. And this is Little Northern Bakehouse brand. And I'm just gonna start with my homemade hummus. This is oil-free. And with the hummus, you're getting a nice little kick of protein. And I just like it on toast. And then I like to add some thinly sliced, these are Persian cucumbers. You can use whatever kind of cucumbers you would like. I just can't like these better. Then I like to add a little red onion. And what I love about this kind of toast is you can just customize it to the way you like it. You can just use what you have on hand, and that's kind of what I did this morning. I look in the refrigerator and see what I've got, what do I think sounds good, and this is what I came up with. And then some tomato, these are just cherry tomatoes that I quartered. And I like to just use a lot of different colors, I think it just looks appealing to the eye and it just tastes good. And then I like to just put some arugula on there. I love arugula, it's kind of peppery. You could use whatever kind of green you would like. You could do spinach, or if you just wanted some lettuce, some mixed greens, that would be fine too. But I just like to add a little bit of arugula. And then I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon over it. I just think it pairs well with the arugula and adds a little zip. And then I'll just use a little crack of lemon pepper. and a little crack of Himalayan salt. We have our easy breezy toast for the morning. So for lunch, I'm just gonna do a big salad and I just love throwing everything in here but the kitchen sink. So I've got my mixed greens, so I'm just gonna put a bunch of that in the bowl. And then I'm just gonna start adding my veggies. Again, I'm using what I had on hand, nothing fancy. So I've got some corn, and this was just frozen roasted corn that I defrosted. I've got some of those same Persian cucumbers that I used on my toast, but these I just did bigger chunks. I've got some red onion. Red onion's so good for you. It's an antibacterial, it's an antifungal. So it's got a lot of healthy properties, healing properties. Then I've got my cherry tomatoes again. These I just halved instead of quartered. And then I have some uh, broccoli that was left over. So you just, I mean, you're trying to just get as many veggies in as you can. And then I've got some leftover rice, which I just heated up for a little bit to take the chill off. So I'm just, this is was left over from my stir fry. So it's got a little bit of coconut aminos on there, but that's okay. So a little bit of rice. So you got your starch in there. Ooh, I guess it was hotter than I thought. 
Okay. And then for some protein, I'm gonna add beans, and these are just pinto beans I had left over. So throw those on. And then I had some roasted zucchini and roasted yellow squash, which I just used some smoked paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and just roasted them in the oven. And I had some of that in the fridge. So we'll throw some of that on there. And these are the, the summer squash. Then as far as a dressing, I'm gonna be using my 321 dressing, but I didn't have a lot of it left over. And the 321 dressing is basically three tablespoons of balsamic, two tablespoons of mustard, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. So we're just gonna put that on here. And because I didn't have a whole heck of a lot left over, so then I'm just gonna use some of the same balsamic vinegar that I used in the 321 dressing. I'm obsessed with this peach white balsamic vinegar from Rocky Mountain Olive Oil Company. Really good. So I'll just do a little bit of that on here to kind of supplement my dressing. And then I'm just gonna squeeze some lemon over here just cause it kind of brightens everything up. And there you have a big, huge, beautiful bowl of veggies. So let's talk about snacks. This is what I've been obsessed with this summer. Anyway, these red grapes, totally delicious, sweet, crunchy, so good. These are amazing. These are cherry plums. They're firm, but they are so sweet. Oh my gosh. And I have a sweet tooth, so this is perfect for me. And then I've got some plum cots. These are plums and apricots, a cross breed of those. And these are also super delicious. I got all this fruit at Trader Joe's, but they have it everywhere. And if you're not eating these fruits, it's so good for you and so delicious. So these will be my snacks throughout the day. And just on a side note, do not be afraid to eat fruit. It is awesome to add to your diet. So don't be afraid of fruit. Don't worry about too much sugar. This is all natural and you're getting fiber and water and minerals. So eat your fruit. So for dinner, I'm gonna do something a little bit more creative. I've been eating pretty simply all day. So for dinner, I'm gonna kick it up a notch. I'm gonna be making rice paper chicken. So I'm gonna be using some tofu. We're gonna spice the heck out of it. So the first thing we're gonna do is make our spice blend. And I will put exact measurements in the description box. We've got oregano, some red pepper flakes, smoked paprika, turmeric, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, and some pink Himalayan salt. And we're just gonna stir this all together. I have a 16 ounce block of extra firm tofu, which I froze. And then I froze it overnight. I took it out this morning and let it defrost. Now I just took it out of the package, drained all that water out, and then I'm just gonna press it with a towel. We don't wanna put it in a tofu press. We just wanna press it like this, just putting your body weight on it. Now I did this technique a couple of weeks ago when I made the tofu chicken nuggets. So it's the same technique. At freezing it will change the texture of the tofu and make it more of a meat-like consistency. So into this bowl, we're just gonna tear the tofu, making chunks, and as you can see, all the little holes that are formed in there when you freeze it. Yeah, that's good. So tear these off. I think these might be a little bit too big. Now we will just sprinkle our little spice blend over the tofu. And we will mix until everything is well coated. So to make our rice paper chicken using tofu, I'm gonna to be using these brown rice papers. You can use white, I just happen to have the brown. We've got our tofu, we've got a bowl of warm water here, and then I've got my air fryer basket and some kitchen shears. This is definitely something that takes some practice, which I'm still practicing. So you're just gonna wet your paper just for a couple seconds. And if you have a bowl that's a little bit bigger, it would probably be perfect. Then you're gonna cut this paper in half, just using these shears. 
Then you're going to put a piece of tofu in each one. And then we're just going to let it sit for a minute till it starts getting a little softer, but you don't want it to get too soft because then it's just going to fall apart. Bringing in the sides. Then I'm just going to place it on the air fryer basket. And I put some parchment paper in because these will stick. All right, and if you wait too long, then it starts getting really hard. So just come up from the bottom, tuck the sides in, and then continue all the way up, tucking if you have to. Like I said, I'm still working on my technique, but these are so good. So I'm just gonna continue to make my little rice paper pockets here, and then I'll show you what's next. So I'm gonna start with one batch here. Very important, you don't want them to touch because they will stick to each other. So I'm gonna put these in the air fryer at 390. I'm gonna start with 10 minutes and then I will check them. So our rice paper chicken came out super crispy and I just have two sauces here. I've got a sweet chili sauce, which is just from a bottle. And then I just made a little peanut sauce with some PB2 water, a little maple syrup and some coconut aminos. So let's give this a taste. So I got about 24 of these. They're kind of like egg rolls too. I mean, um, but with rice paper. I'm not sure what to call them. But I also wanted to say that this was inspired by the Korean vegan. And I will leave a link to her original recipe. I did change it a bit. I changed the spice blend. I just changed out one item on that. And then I air fried them. She deep fried hers and I don't deep fry anything. so. I decided to do mine in the air fryer and I think they came out really good. So let's take a quick taste here. And like I said, I have two sauces. I have the sweet chili sauce and the peanut sauce. Feel free to use whatever kind of sauce you would like. So here we go. I'm gonna try the sweet chili because it is one of my favorites. Mmm. I don't know if you can hear that crunch. So. Looks like chicken, really, really good. So I won't eat all those for dinner tonight. I'll probably have five or six. I'll make a salad to go with it and then it'll balance out my plate there, 50-50. It'll be quite filling and satisfying. So I hope you enjoyed my what I ate in a day today on a kind of a lazy day. I started out lazy, but then really finished strong, I think, with this last recipe, but it was well worth it. So remember, all my recipes are good for you, they're good for the animals, and they're good for the planet, and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. I think these recipes will definitely fit into your weight loss journey. They're very delicious and easy to make. And if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe, and until next time, thank you. Then we're just going to uh, put it into a large bowl. We're just gonna cut these. Uh, no. That's good enough. I think these recipes are all 